firefighter safer a grant? Interesting phrase. Uh, first year appropriation, $414,000. Anyone have any thoughts on this? I'd like to know, Mr. Morrow, how many firefighters we have now? Thirty-nine. And how many did we have five years ago? Okay. And what's the population then? In the population now compared to them? Exactly the same. If you look exactly at the, the same. Yeah. yeah. It changed by about <laughs> ten people. Pardon me. Well, wait, wait, wait. What did we have? I have the floor. You have the floor, Mr. Moore. Are you done? No. Okay, please proceed. I'd like to know how many firefighters there were, or there are now, when they were five years ago, if it like population. But the other part of the question is, I think there might be a very good reason to have, I don't know how many we should have. That's my, I'm, how did they come up with this number? I'd like the chief to tell me, explain that, or somebody explain that to me. But at the same time, I realize we have a lot of condos and other things going up, and we have the place up on the Marriott is new, and beside across this is the the new nursing home with the Alzheimer's unit. All of those things need fire protection. So maybe the population is consistent, but it's really the other things within the town have grown and make that a need. I'd just like to know what those are. That's all. So again, how did they figure it out so we could pr prove it or not approve whatever? I tend to doubt done. we're going to vote on this tonight, so please right, get all your concerns right. out on the table, Mr. LeBranch. Could I suggest that we wait to talk yeah. about this yes, until the fire that. chief happens I to be here that. to explain? Anything else? Well, I, let me let okay. me finish. I I did, I did want to mention the um, the fire department. When the chief is here, he can explain to us. Even though there are some newer buildings going up, and a lot of them. Of course, they're all sprinklered. They're all built to code nowadays. Um, a lot of, most of the action that happens with the fire department, and the chief will tell us this, which he's told us before, um, and that is that a lot of medical calls, mm -hmm. that's where they spend a lot of time nowadays. Okay, not so much putting out building fires. They still have those, of course, but a lot of medical calls. This would allow, he, I do remember him explaining this to the selectmen, and it'll allow them to have, for instance, a crew with an ambulance at the beach station. So there are benefits, but perhaps he could come in, so we won't be discussing this one tonight to death because without him here to explain it to us. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? No, well, we just want to raise the concern so that he has a chance to hear it before it comes to our subsequent meeting. So that's why I want to just raise up general thoughts at this point, because we're not going to vote on this one. I call Mr. Walbert. Uh, I just had a, a logistical, well, I should say, uh, sentence structure. The last sentence on this article said, this article shall be null and void if the federal funding is not approved or received. It's mm -hmm. a question mark. Right. That doesn't make, it just doesn't. It's the question like, mark is questioned? Well, that's correct. <laughs> it looks like a statement. But the, other, the other thing, I, maybe this is a, a um, question for Selectman Barnes or something we're going to ask the chief. Is it? I thought when I heard the original discussions of these, there were going to be two separate Warren articles. One they uh, killed one. Yeah. Well, I know that, but yeah. I, I just I, I I'm still not understanding. I kind of like that idea because one was strictly federal funding, and the other one was the four or five fighters actually out of the budget. Right. Because we run into, and we. Dealing it with the school, you know, you yeah. get these grants, and then they the grants go away, and then they they become positions. So, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not too much harper on it, but I, I do want to. I guess I didn't understand quite why that was why it was changed to one of you. Well, this one always existed this way. That's correct. And, and then, then we had another one without any of the federal funding right. in there, which would just be the total cost bared to correct. the town for the same amount of firefighters. Yeah, they so wanted so. to originally put both in. Correct. And then I asked the board. Or I talk. I can't remember if I asked the board or I talked to the chairman about it, and I said I don't want to have two in there. I'm like, one, it's another Warren article that's just going to make everyone want to pull their hair out, and two, it's you know, if you look at the actual costing sheet on what, it, obviously, if this goes through, right, it's going to be a lot cheaper oh, than yeah. the other Warren yeah. article where we. So that's why we decided to uh, nix the other one and just go with this one in hopes that. <coughs> 
we should get the federal funding okay. considering what we have to deal with down there. You all set, Brian? Yeah, thank you. Mr. LeBranch. Yeah, I remember also that Mary Louise, I think it was Mary Louise, was concerned, or one of the selectmen on the board was concerned that with the two wet warrant articles, it looked like they were looking for eight firefighters, and right. there might be confusion to the voters. Right. I think so that's one of the other reasons but the why substantial they substantial fact we need took, to keep in mind took is it down that there is one. now one article. Right. right. Apparently but questionable because of the question mark. Yes. Apparently dependent on getting a grant. The, That's still a branch. The, I, I was looking, yeah, I was looking at that. The question the, mark. The question mark, okay. okay, I wanted to, I wanted to discuss the question mark. See, it starts out by saying, shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate? And that would be a question, you see. Instead of the question mark being at after the word received, perhaps it should be after the word appropriation, which is the yeah, last it, word right. in that so you want to particular move sentence. The question mark well, I'm I'm just it. trying to explain Got where yeah, the, question, the question question mark yeah. comes from. You see? Got it. Okay. Thank you very so much. Steve does not object to the existence of the question mark, merely the location. Got it. Well, I, okay. I'm trying to answer yes. Brian's question. And I think I think you're making a very valid yes. point. Okay. That's uh, that's really good stuff, I suppose. Uh, I, I think we can, well, I only have one comment, is I've had the chief in here, um, well, <coughs> every time we've had, yeah. I've been on this budget committee now six years, and we've had the chief in here, and I think almost every year I or someone has asked him, do you need more firefighters? And the answer's always been no. So why suddenly do we need fi new fi more <coughs> firefighters now? Is the obvious question. That's a good question. Yeah. And yes. of course, I speculate when I say, well, maybe we need more firefighters now because there's a safer grant out there from the feds to induce us to have more firefighters. And it's merely that inducement that's spurring it. I don't know. But I would love for him, I, I look forward to him coming in and explaining the, uh, the rationale, as many of you have said, for why do we need additional firefighters. Uh, I assume we have nothing else to say on this, right? Okay. 